You might have heard the term that parents' expectation is killing the dreams. To some extent, that might be a true statement, but what I personally believe is what's killing majority of the dream is not somebody's expectation. It is the self-expectation which is responsible for killing the majority of the dream. So from where does this self-expectation comes from? See, when you read a good book or watch a great movie like Rocky or maybe any other sports movie, the theme is really strong there. There is a person who is at the very beginning a great loser. He works really hard and at the end of the movie, probably two hours later or three hours later, he becomes the winner. Or probably if he's not winner in the story, he becomes the people's champ. And everybody just expects that if I'm going to work really hard, if I'm going to give my 100%, then I'm going to just win the game. Is it as simple as it sounds? If it would be that simple, just you give your 100% and you just win whatever you do, then probably things would have been much more simpler. Now just try to think it that way, that the person who is coming second in the race, do you think he was working hard to come second? Do you think the person who was st standing at the stage of Olympia, the great bodybuilding championship, and he is coming at the third position, do you think he was working hard to come third? Everybody is working hard to be in the first in the every game. If it, if it is a sports or programming or any other aspect of life, everybody is trying to just be at the very first position. We see a great number of people. Probably you are inspired by Michael Phelps, who has won great number of medals. He has been working so hard. And you have seen Hussein Bolt, a great racer, amazing athlete. And you see that he's at number one position because he has outworked, hard worked from any other person that he has seen so far. But what we don't see, the other aspect of the life, that there are probably other great athletes as well, probably, and that's a very bold statement, probably better than Hussein Bolt. And they might be better than him. But as of now, they are not there. So why they are not there? See, life is not really that simple that you're going to just work hard and you're going to just be at the very top. There are hundreds of actors who might be amazing actors. Probably the one who has won the Oscar, they might be far better than him. But they didn't got the exposure, the chances of life so that they can put themselves as the very best. And on top of that, there's so much of hard work involved in every single person. An actor goes through with a variety of physical changes and mental changes to perform that role to the best he can. And we just walk into the stage and say that movie was a bizarre, a nightmare. I don't recommend it for anybody. Does this actor want to give you absolutely a bad movie? I don't think so. Whenever there is an athlete who is competing for any given sports, whether that's a race or a hockey match or a cricket match, everybody wants to give out their best in that game. They want to make their country proud. They want to make their family proud. Everybody wants to be successful. But it's not just the hard work is going to take you there. Sometimes it takes more attempts and probably more than one. But in the movies, in all the amazing books, we see that a person is trying and he's just becoming successful at the end of the day. That's not how sometimes things work. That's not always true. You see a lot of people working really hard on YouTube, making amazing videos. You see a lot of people working on amazing projects. Sometimes they just work out. Sometimes they don't. Everybody is working hard. But it's the attitude that when the person is going to give up and when the other person is not going to give up, it makes a whole difference. I get this a lot. A lot of time people come to me and say, hey, I've been working on this particular code for an entire day, for an entire week, and it's still not running. And I just get amused that why are you not still even trying? If it is not working after a week, probably try for a month, probably try for a year. That's how things goes on and that's how thing works. Many people say that I have been trying for five companies, for interviews, I'm not getting internship. Uh, I'm not getting even a job. And I just say, why just five? Just try in 15 or probably 50, maybe 500, maybe 5,000. Maybe learn more. Maybe try again after a few months. That's how the things goes on. Dreams can be really powerful. They can drive you to any extent. 
you can be ready to work hard as much as like anything. Nobody can just come near to you. But when we are going to give up on that dream or when we are not going to give up on that dream, that actually is the barrier between are you going to get success or not. Success is not a guarantee. Only hard work is the guarantee. There is not a surety of the result that is going to come. Probably it's going to come. Probably it's not going to come. We read all the time about the stories of the person behind Alibaba. We read the stories about the person behind the KFC. And these are the two persons who are the pioneer in setting the example of achieving the late success. And why do you think that these guys got the late success? Because of just one single line of attitude. They didn't got the success in their fifth attempt or sixth attempt. They just keep on trying and they and just understand the fact that they got completely old in just trying and achieving that success. You know what's the reason behind that? You know what's the attitude of that one line? I don't accept failure. I would rather die trying than rather accepting failure. And that's the attitude that can take you from nowhere to at least somewhere. The success is not a guarantee. But one thing that you can do is keep a smile on your face and just try. Try again, try again, and then try again. Don't expect that it's going to lead to success. But one thing we are happy about it is die trying. So are you ready to die trying? Or are you ready to just complain about not getting the success when you want it?